Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. When we last left off, we were about to fight Nemesis. Uh, yeah, actually, talking of fighting Nemesis. Oh, also, you might notice things are a little bit different. Uh, yeah, I might accidentally have lost my saves. So, <laughs> I had to play us back up to this point. Um, not humongously far, but maybe... Uh, at least the last video. Anyway, uh, so as you can probably hear, I'm feeling much, 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 much better, much more lucid, which is cool. So, uh, to fight Nemesis, we are going to go with a grenade launcher with freeze rounds, because, yes, we are also going to go... Uh, let's see, grenade launcher with freeze rounds, we've got loads of gunpowder, uh, now running back through this game, um, we got completely different enemies, in fact outside in the courtyard where we fought dogs before, uh, we actually had crows in there which, I mean, <laughs> didn't even need to fight them, so we saved some ammo there, uh, in the dining room I guess? Uh, the room that we only really have to go into once actually had uh, what was it um, it was three crawling zombies not brain suckers so we didn't have to fight those either so we saved some ammo now you'll notice we only have one load of mine rounds here and that's because during our wonderful RNG gods have delivered us extra gunpowder I believe I don't know it's kind of hard to remember like what we actually had last time exactly but I think yeah where the mine rounds should have been uh, here if you remember correctly uh, is it on that shelf no, it's on the shelf yeah we had uh, the extra pack of mine rounds there didn't we uh, this time we had loads of gunpowder just like slotted over here so you know uh, that's that's the thing that happened. Anyway, we need to go fight Nemesis, and we're going to go fight Nemesis with... Well, we could use the shotgun. The, the thing is, right, the shotgun's not very optimal against Nemesis. Believe it or not, the enhanced handgun uh, bullets are, at least in my experience anyway, significantly better at dealing with Nemesis than, than this. But, so, uh, mm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, mm. okay. We're going to go with freeze rounds, and we're going to go with a magnum, just because I don't want to use more powder making up handgun rounds, because we need to start saving for freeze rounds. I wasn't sure if I was going to go the freeze round route. I mean, potentially we could still go for the magnum route. Magnum versus freeze rounds is, is kind of like a difficult thing really because the Magnum The Magnum I feel that it does about the same damage, but the Magnum never misses um, You know whereas you can miss with the grenade launcher the Magnum is also you know a Magnum So it's fun. It's a lot of fun to use uh, Not decided yet whether we're going to have a magnum run or a grenade. I think we did freeze rounds in the first LP, didn't we? So, uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll think about it. Anyway, let's go. And I need to move my window over so I can see my timer. There we go. Did I say we're fighting Nemesis? I, of course, mean we're about to escape. Oof. That stinger. Mm. No. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, big fella. Stars. Stars indeed, dude. Stars. Oof, God. That's gonna suck. <laughs> He's so proud of himself, isn't he? He's like, I got Jill! Yes. Who indeed has who, my friend? Right, we're going to run around the... Yeah, he's going to try and hit us with his rocket launcher. Uh, which he, let's be fair, probably will. 
Right. Okay. I'm just gonna have to tank a few hits here. It's fine. Ow. What health are we on? Right, now he's got his rocket launch. Oh yeah, we can't actually see how much health we have, can we? Uh, probably not much would be my guess. Right, ow, thanks pal. Right, there we go. His rocket launcher is savage. Right, you can actually see one full pack of freeze rounds drops him. Uh, they are so powerful against Nemi. And we just wasted a shot. Which is not really a great... Oh, uh, we wasted two shots, technically. And now he's taking his rocket launcher out. Alright. And he just hit us with a rocket. Which is not fantastic. Not gonna lie. Definitely not fantastic. Oh, his rocket launcher's empty. Nice. Come on, fucker. Come on. What you got? What you got? Yeah, you big old bag of penises. That's all you are, dude. Get off me, dude. Get the fuck off me. Take that to the gut. You got nothing, Nemi. You got nothing. Fuck off. Well, maybe he had a little bit of something. That uh, doesn't seem good. <laughs> Jill! Jill! Hang in there! What have I done? I'm sorry, Jill. Uh, Please, wake up! Pretty sure you didn't do Jill. anything. Jill! But that's the problem, isn't October it, Carlos? First. Night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. alive. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Ah, oh, sometimes I like the idea of a big, strong, hunky guy looking after me. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, don't worry about it, Jill. Um, I'll, I'm gonna level with you, to be honest. I don't feel anything either. Neither joy, nor happiness, nor sadness. Right, anyway, let's uh, go back. And don't worry, Jill. It, it's never, it never changes. It's like, you, you hit adulthood and, and, and your mood just plateaus. Uh, right, let's drop that down. Now we have, hmm, yes, we have the assault rifle. We actually want to save the assault rifle a little bit because uh, the thing about the assault rifle is it's actually very powerful. Duh. And uh, we, ah, oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, and we actually have quite a lot to do with our friend, uh, our friend here. Uh, we got some Zeds. Oh, you little fucking tosspot! Honestly, get that cheeky little nibble on me there, bastard! I ought to stick this up your ass. Right uh, now, we need to go this way. Yes, I'm gonna try and remember where we're even going now. Ah, uh, remember the bell. We need to go push the bell. Push the bell out. Oh, spiders in there. Uh, ickle spiders. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we still got the spiders here. Did you really bite me there? Are you freaking serious right now? I actually got bitten by a spider? Jesus, Carlos. What the hell's the matter with you? Too busy thinking about Jill, huh? Right, well, you ain't gonna get any cake at this point. 
Now let's just move this over the, out the way. And I believe it's Resident Evil's 25th anniversary today. Is it Resident Evil 2's? One of them, anyway. I've seen it all over. I actually opened Twitter today. First time I've opened Twitter in a while. Oh, hey guys. Ah, uh, right. Yes. Come on, you sons of bitches. Step right. Come on. I don't have all day. Yes, get stuck behind the barrel. That'll work. You know what? Why am I going to waste one of those when I can waste one of these? Yeah, I really just blew myself up, didn't I? Yeah, I really did. Uh, we're a little bit too close to that barrel there. Well, that was stupid. Sit down. Oh, I blew myself up with a barrel. Come on, man. What kind of horse shit is that? I think we call that overconfidence. Or inexperience with blowing up barrels at close range. That too. Anyway, let's continue. Zombies, huh? Well, that's fine. Ooh, there's not a zombie. We have beta hunters. Luckily, these guys aren't too tough. Are you dead? Yeah, he... No. Now he's dead. Alright, beta hunters. Could be worse. Could, uh... Could, um... um be, be better as well. Could be, could be significantly better, in fact. Right, well, we got some red herbs here. Now, I don't know... I can't remember. If we pick up herbs as Carlos, do they actually transition over to Jill? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I can't remember. There's all these dead people here as well. You know. Pretty rough, to be honest. Um, yeah, this hospital is a very ominous place, as uh, I'm sure you can imagine. Your guide to health insurance. Yeah, we don't live in that kind of situation, guys. Yeah, we have the NHS, so, you know, health is free. <laughs> yes, the the right to living happy and healthy is free, where I come from. Okay, right, uh, first aid spray. Now, I don't kind of want to use it, but we might have to use it. Because, guys, those hunters, they might look sweet and adorable, and that may be true, but let me tell you, you uh, you give them an inch and they will take a testicle. I'm telling you. So we need to be a little bit careful around those boys. Uh, we're going to save it in here, actually. I usually wouldn't be that bothered about saving it here. But we're, we're pretty beaten up on health, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, through, um, through no fault of the hunters or monsters. Kind of my stupidity. Yeah, there's a blue herb here. Oh, these hunters as well? They can poison us. Uh, which is something that I kind of forgot about. Pretty sure these beta hunters can... Are they the beta or are these the gamma hunters? No, gamma hunters are the frog ones. Yeah, gamma hunters in Resident Evil 3 Remake. They were... They were different, weren't they? Um, mm, very different. I liked them, they were cool, but yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, they were different. Alright, well, we've got some more handgun bullets, which is fine. We also have another diary here. Director's Diary. September 10th. These patients suffer from gangrene and congestion of their... Congestion? of their blood at first? Then their mind slowly deteriorates. In the end, there's nothing left of their mind. When that happens, even mercy killing seems pointless. After all, they're already dead. This disease is unlike anything I've ever witnessed. Once the patient's mind is gone, they become flesh... Flesh hunger monsters. Flesh hungry? Anyone, anyone proof? I'm, like, I'm dyslexic, so I'm shit at English. Shocking. Right. But, come on. This is a game. Yeah, I, I don't sell my anything, so, you know. Um, 
flesh hunger monsters and act like wild animals who are on some type of blood who are on some type of bloodless bloodlust something you can take and consume all right September 18th another patient has been admitted to the hospital he is showing symptoms of the first stages of the disease at this point but I haven't been able to sleep at all these past few days I refuse to let these patients become zombies I am not just an ordinary citizen I am a doctor even if I die my uh, clinical charts will contribute to finding a cure uh, September 26th we lost most of the doctors and staff during the battle against the zombie patients it's impossible to maintain the hospital under these conditions and I know that it is too late for me I'm beginning to feel that same itchy and hungry desire that all of my patients felt it's too late for me shit at least you tried his neck has been devoured from the inside out well that doesn't sound like a zombie to me chief and that sure is shit uh, it's not a hunter. Hunters don't climb into you and, you know, eat your ass from inside out. Well, maybe they do, I don't know. But, oh, yeah. Get the uh, hospital map as well whilst we're here. Alright, fine, let's go. Um, now, every time we open this door, there is a chance of zombies. Voice recognition lock. Will we push the microphone button? Alright. So he's looking for a cure. Little did he know the cure was in this very hospital all along. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. Is that Hammer. correct? Yeah, I'm actually thinking it might be a big brain move to eat that first aid spray. I don't want to, but you know. There's a lot of things I don't want to do in this life, but, you know, some things are just out of our control. Taxes, for instance. Right, let's munch that down. You know, the healthcare system in Raccoon City is probably fairly robust, if you think about it. Because, you know, we have these medical sprays that can heal all known, like, infections, apart from, like, obviously the T-virus. Fuck me, I could have used a F8 spray a few, well, about a week ago. That would have saved me some issues. And, um, you know, we have these green herbs, green and red herbs growing everywhere. You know, rub some of that into your ass and it just about cures anything. I don't know... I don't know why medical insurance is even a thing that is needed. Which floor will... Right, we'll go to the fourth floor first. We only have two uh, options here, which is a little bit strange. But, hey, we'll roll with it. Oh! Yeah, you want to use your machine gun here. Oh, sorry, your assault rifle. Because... You know, if you try and use your handgun, you're just going to get munched. Dude, come on. There's still another one out there. Come on, dude. Step right up. There we go. Any more? Yes. He's got more. All right. What we like for the machine. Ooh, 65% on the AR. Yeah, that could be better. All right. Well, let's go into 401. Yeah, that could be better for sure. Oh, yeah. I forgot about these things. Fuck. Yeah, this is obviously what was eating Matey Boy from the inside out. Ugh, God. But fucking worms now. Zombies, monsters and hunters and now worms. Jesus. A doctor's body. He's holding a slip. The number 104 are printed on the slip. Shouldn't that be is printed on the slip? Now, we also need to take note of this. This little box over here and see where that's moved to. Alright, that's moved over there. Uh, something seems to have been placed here. Yes. Also, there's a little potted plant over there. Looks like it's got like a green living thing in it. 
some sort of plant. Maybe we should rub that into our bullet wounds. See if that does anything for us. Uh, okay, cool. Right, so let's go to the data room. This place has uh, seen better days, you know. Don't shoot! No! Jeez. Nikolai? You're still alive? You saw what happened. What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Oof. Wait! <laughs> Good man. Ooh. I love the way they jump out of uh, <laughs> windows in this game. Uh, I guess he probably got blown out the window, but... <laughs> They they really really go out the windows. I mean, Jill just fucking swan dived straight out. You know, no fucks given. Uh, unfortunately, we can't actually examine this guy, which is strange. He like doesn't even have anything on him. Shame we couldn't have grabbed one of those grenades. You know, but hey, all right, okay, fine. Um, now a cardboard box with chemicals in it. All right. What have we got here? Ooh. Will you take the sick room key? Aye. We will. And photo D. The zombies are walking. Yeah. Yeah. It says the infects of the T virus on the backside. Okay. Well, that's ominous. Now, where are we on our files? We haven't missed anything, have we? No. Uh, we're all good, we're all good. We ain't got many left again. Well, a couple, but not many. Uh, unknown creatures are soaked in formalin. Yeah, well, let's not think about that too closely, shall we? Alright. Mm-hmm. I mean, having all this uh, time off has been quite nice, because I have spent uh, a lot of time... Uh, we don't need to use this now. Yes, we do. Spent a lot of time playing uh, Pokemon Shield. And my god, am I enjoying that game. In fact, that's pretty much all I've done all week, apart from dragging my ass out of bed and recording a video. Um, now, where... Oh, shit, yeah, fuck. Where was... Yeah, we got to push that, haven't we? Oh, god. Where was that in the other room? I can't remember. Let's go back into this one. I think the code was 104. Probably. 104. Right, so it's there. Uh, yeah, okay. So we have to mirror that, I think. I think that's how it works. Does it have to be in the exact same location, or do you have to mirror it? I can't remember. We'll try it both ways. Um, so, let's try putting it there first. This thing is a little bit odd. Uh, I can't exactly remember how this, uh, this puzzle works. Well, I mean, I know how it works, I just can't remember exactly the solution uh, okay I know the answer I just don't know the equation no that was wrong so I it got, it's got to go there has it got to be opposite I can't remember all right no this does actually hurt us I think getting zaps it doesn't hurt us a lot but it does hurt Right. Now, we don't want you doing the electric boogaloo now, do we? Let's try it in the other corner. Um, there we go. Good thing all these puzzles and things reset. I bet Nemesis creeps in here, doesn't he, when we're not here. And resets all the puzzles for us. I think Nemesis is probably operating the camera as well. He's a good lad like that. You know, I think Nemesis is a very misunderstood character. You know, we don't know that he just doesn't, he, he's just looking for some friends, you know. He's just going a little bit full on with it, um, you know. A little bit full on. 
Yeah, there we go. Alright. So we have to, like, op opposite it. So that one was, I think... Oh, I can't remember. I don't, I don't care enough. Alright, so 104. It's a. It's locked with a number-based lock. First digit. 104. Oh. <gasps> what is that? Will you take the vaccine base? The vaccine was in the hospital all along. How strange. Mm. All along, this vaccine was right under their noses. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's go down to the basement. Hopefully there's nothing too heebie-jeebie down in the basement. Ah, who am I kidding? Um, let's go down to the basement. Basement level 3. This hospital is pretty large. Much, much larger, actually, in the... Um, in the remake, of course. Okay. There we have explosives there. Someone's already tried to demo this place. Oh, no, we want the AR, don't we? Yes, we want the AR. Short control bursts. Hey, dude. Oh, God. He's... He really... Got the drop in on us there. Yeah, he really kind of manhandled us there. Not impressed. Not impressed with that. You little sausage. I hate that dodge. Like, when you've got nowhere to dodge. Ooh. Um, and it just doesn't work. It's kind of annoying. I don't know if we leave these here for, for Jill. Uh, I don't know, man. Complicated lock and cannot be opened. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, moving on. Ooh. What do we have here? Well, we've got a vaccine. Uh, oh, no, it's the medium base, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think we can... No, we can't combine those two yet. We need to fiddle with them first, don't we? Ooh. Reading material. Medical instruction manual. Umbrella Medical Service. Uh, North American Division, Douglas Rover. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please follow the procedures as detailed below. One, supply enough energy to the system. Well, I'm pretty sure the uh, power company should do that. Set the medium base to the device. When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. To mix the vaccine, you will need to control the five levers. Oh, yeah. I remember that. This will cause the two gauges to increase or decrease. If you adjust the two gauges... Uh, if you adjust the two gauges so that they stop at the center, the vaccine medium will then be uh, produced automatically. Well, that's a nice, simple system. Uh, now, what would make this really complicated and a little bit on the silly side... Now, um, uh, imagine this, right? We need to synthesize the vaccine. So, there's only enough electricity in this room to either power these uh, big vats here, keeping these dangerous, deadly monsters, uh, you know, from keeping, uh, from uh, creating chaos, or power the machine that makes the vaccine. Stupid design or clever trap? Hmm, you decide. Obviously, if you run down here in a panic to make a vaccine for yourself, well, you're going to unleash these things. Well, it's very umbrella design, I suppose. Seems to be an electric power supply switcher. It is set next to the cultivation tank. Will you switch the electric power supply? Aye. Well, that's awkward. Now we have some giant frog things. Yeah, these are the original 
beta hunters? No, hunter gammas. Uh I don't know, man. I I I do like these things. These things are cool. Look at it. Just in there ominously. Do they have eyes? I guess that little black dot just above its mouth is its eye. Mm. But they go into some really nice detail um, in the remake about how they came up with these different, uh, you know, hunters and whatnot. Uh, lots of information about the uh, hunter gamma. Right, uh, and then we need below. That should be it. Yeah. Lovely. Now we have the vaccine medium. How do we combine these two? Yes, vaccine. Uh, can we can we turn these the, the, the tank back? No. Okay. Okay. Hey, friend. Yeah, this is gonna get worse before it gets better. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, 39% left in the old AR. Not great, is it? Um, wow, we're on like 31 minutes. Dudes, where does the freaking time go? I don't know. Now, we need to be a little bit cautious when we come out of here, don't we? Just a little cautious. Got one with that bomb. Come on, baby. Come on. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Get fucked. Get out of here. Okay. All right, let's go back to that save room and then I guess we better call it a video. Uh, floor will you open? Oh, let's go to the first floor. Now we may have zombies here. No, we've got hunters instead. Okay. Well, that was cute. Jeez, who let all the hunters out? Sons of bitches. 22% left in the old AR. Not fantastic. Okay, well, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. We always do. And anyway, that leads us nicely into the save room. So, when we come back, we're going to go back and see Jill. And get her a nice shot. A shot of the good stuff. Make her feel a little bit better, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Who knows? Maybe she dies. Maybe she dies. Maybe she mutates and becomes a horrible zombie. She, um... No, she, no, no. She, that, that doesn't happen. But it might. You never know. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.